with one of the most recognizable faces in the world he is, perhaps, an unlikely secret agent. But Prince William has been working alongside agents in Britain's intelligence services over the past three weeks, it can now be revealed. Shadowing members of MI5, MI6 and staff at GCHQ, the Prince has been involved with counter-terrorism teams and even gone out on operations. The future King insisted on being treated like an ordinary member of staff at all times and that he should simply be called William. Working nine to five days, he took his lunch in the canteen with his new colleagues and spent time with staff from all levels, while adhering to the strict security practices expected of all personnel. The Prince already had experience of classified material through the confidential papers he has access to as a member of the Privy Council. But his time with the intelligence services over the past few weeks has added greatly to the knowledge he can draw upon in the future. His top-secret work experience was revealed by Kensington Palace in a statement last night. Having completed his final day this week, the Prince said, spending time inside our security and intelligence agencies, understanding more about the vital contribution they make to our national security, was a truly humbling experience. These agencies are full of people from everyday backgrounds doing the most extraordinary work to keep us safe. They work in secret, often not even able to tell family and friends about the work they do or stresses they face. They are driven by an unrivaled patriotism and dedication to upholding the values of this country. We all owe them deep gratitude for the difficult and dangerous work they do. William spent his first week at MI6 whose officers work secretly overseas, developing foreign contacts and gathering intelligence that helps to make the UK safer. Over the five days, he was shown firsthand how MI6 helps the UK navigate risks to its national security, military effectiveness and economy from those who wish the UK harm. MI5 was next, where he worked alongside counter-terrorism teams to see how they conduct their investigations. He finished his assignment at GCHQ in Cheltenham, where he spent time with those using cutting-edge technology to identify, analyze and disrupt threats. He was photographed in GCHQ's 24-7 operations center where intelligence officers work through the night keeping the UK safe from terrorists, serious criminals and cyber attacks. It is highly unusual for any non-staff member to be given access to this space. David. The GCHQ head of counterterrorism operations and whose full name cannot be revealed for security reasons, said, William worked exceptionally hard to embed himself in the team and comfortably held his own among some highly skilled analysts and operators. His Royal Highness asked some probing questions and demonstrated a real grasp of our mission. The Queen retains a great interest in the intelligence services. In February, she made a visit to GCHQ to mark its centenary celebrations. Her grandson's time there came just weeks before he is due to visit Christchurch, New Zealand, where he will honor the victims of the recent mosque terror attack which left 50 people dead. The trip is being carried out on behalf of the Queen, who no longer travels abroad. William's work experience also took place as efforts continue behind the scenes to prepare him for the role as the next Prince of Wales. It is well known that his father is also taking on an increasing amount of work from the Queen, now aged 92. We are very much looking to the next phase at the moment, a royal source said last night.